In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do something very cool to enhance your short films and feature films and bring them to life. Now, before we go any further, please hit that like and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And now let's get into showing you something very cool. Looking for different types of camera angles and camera shots. That's what being a director of photography or cinematographer is all about. Now there's other aspects to it, of course, lighting and uh, composition, things of that nature, color palettes. But finding cool angles to work with within your films, that's what it's all about. And I'm gonna show you an easy trick that you can do today. Now I'm gonna use the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera because it's one of my favorites and the RAW and the ability to shoot 60 frames per second. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot in Cinema DNG RAW and we're gonna shoot at 60 frames per second. And we're going to use this Samyang 14 millimeter lens with a Metabone Speed Booster and that's the times 0.6 for speed booster. This isn't my favorite lens, but I do like it's kind of lightweight. It's a cinema lens and it goes up to a 3.1 f-stop and that's where it stays. So not going to be the greatest in low light conditions, but we're going to light this shot up. You've probably seen this trick in a lot of your action films and you're like, oh, how'd they do that? How'd they get the camera there? Or maybe you haven't and I'm going to show you what you can do to enhance maybe your action films or horror films. You can do this with many different types of cameras, but what you really want is something small and compact. I'm partial to the Blackmagic cameras and that's why I'm gonna use this because if I do shoot a short film or a feature film, I'm probably gonna use a Blackmagic camera for my lower independent budget films, but you can use anything you want. And you can use even a GoPro, something so small. This would be much simpler with a GoPro. It's just, I don't like the look of the GoPros and I don't like the color. So I want to have the ability to color correct and shoot raw. That's why I'm gonna use this camera. Doesn't mean that's what you have to. I'm going to take a toy gun and I'm going to connect this camera to this toy gun and show you guys some cool shots. First thing I'm really going to need is I, I need some rigging. One of the things that's going to be beneficial to me in this build is having a camera cage. So I do have a camera cage on the Blackmagic camera. That's going to give me all kinds of quarter 20 and 3 8 16 holes to rig whatever I want to rig to this camera. It's not a must but it's better if you do have a camera cage with your camera. If not, you generally have a quarter 20 thread at the bottom and you can use this method with something like that. Although it's probably not going to be the safest out there. But there's hot shoe mounts and other things like that. So you can use a hot shoe mount with a thread, quarter 20 thread and you connect all like that. This is just what my rig's gonna look like today, and you have to build your own rig based off that and the materials that you have. One of those being, this is like a baby pin with a 3 8 to quarter 20 thread on it. You find these in most on Amazon and any, any way that sells uh, stands and photography equipment. This is mostly a photography piece, but it's good for us. We can use that. And we are going to use just a basic magic arm that you can also find on those same websites. You probably have one laying around if you have monitors out there that you put onto your cameras. And you can definitely use this in many different ways besides microphones and monitors and maybe audio equipment. That's why I use most of this for. Or you might have a GoPro clamp. This is just a basic clamp, which is pretty strong that you put your GoPro on with a thread mount. It has the standard locking GoPro 
adapter there with the quarter 20 mount. You can use something like that on one end of this, or you can just do that and attach it to your camera. I'm not gonna use all of this, so we'll move on. Another cool thing I have is this long magic arm. This one, I don't know where you may find. If you look around on Amazon, you might find something like this, but it has multiple functions. So it's got your 5 8 baby pin here. It's got your quarter 20 thread here. And then on the opposite end, it has a 3 8 female thread and also another 5 8 baby pin. And you loosen this guy up and it'll twist and turn in all many different shapes, angles, and forms. This is what I'm gonna use because this is gonna help me Help me set the camera angle that I really want. And again, you can adjust this in many different ways. Next is going to be my favorite thing in the world is a Mafer or Maffer. Some people call them Maffers, some people call them Mafer. M-A-F-F-E-R clamp. These are great for anything. You can attach them to pipe, you can attach them to I-beams, you can attach them to almost anything in the world. It has threads at the bottom, quarter 20 threads, and a couple different smaller mounting holes there, which I never use. And then the most important key feature is your 5 8 baby pin adapter there, or female, and your locker on the side. So you have two types, you lock it in there and then you tighten it down with the screw here. And then with this, you open the guy up and then you close it down to tighten it onto whatever you want. Those are the tools that I'm using. Now, how am I going to build this? Well, I've already kind of adjusted this. So I'm just gonna put it together and you can kind of see how I did. So, oh, Taking the butt of this toy gun, I'm gonna put my clamp on there. I'm gonna slide it back pretty much as far as it can go and tighten it down. I'm not gonna go too tight with this because the one thing you don't want to do is crack this toy. And then this is a ratcheting handle here that I will do something like that just to tighten it down. And then I've already kind of fit this and angled it and slid this back part up some and back. I've already pretty much put this in the position and the angle that I like for the camera. And I did that all just for time. So you wouldn't sit here and see me finagle this thing and adjust it constantly. So I'm just going to tighten this down in one of those quarter 20 threaded holes. Get it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna tighten this. And then I'm going to do a little oomph on it. Give it a little oomph. Make sure everything is tight. Just give that screw just a little bit more tightness. And now that needs to be a little more tight. Now everything's pretty tight and connected. And one thing I can do, I can add another clamp here and go to the bottom to help support this and make it more rigid. So maybe I do that also. And here we go, I'm gonna loosen this. I'm gonna pop that baby in. I'm gonna use a magic arm instead on this one, a more simpler magic arm. 
put the baby pin in there, tighten it down, give everything a nice twisty twist, make sure it's tight, and then I can connect this at the bottom of my weapon. Again, not going too tight because I don't want to snap the plastic of this toy gun. If you have a better gun out there, by all means, you'll have a much easier time. But for this, this is the only gun I have. It's this cheapo guy. And we're gonna find a hole to get into. Nice and tight, tighten the magic arm. Now we're sturdy. And now we're gonna go take some shots and see what kind of cool effect we got with this.